All right. So I went through the whole kind of spiel of, you know, what exactly our whole numbers. We have a whole bunch of them here. We have our first ones are our counting numbers or our natural numbers. Okay. And remember, those are uh, just numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we have our counting numbers. Then we included 0 to give us whole numbers, right? Then after we include our whole numbers, we needed to include negative numbers, which gave us integers. All right, and then after integers, um, there were still numbers that we could write as fractions. So we had rational numbers. And then if a number did not fit a rational number, it was not a counting number, not a whole number, or not an um, integer, then we said it was an irrational number. So what I want to do in this little short video is just kind of show you how to classify your numbers. All the sets, you know, all the, the names that it could be. So if we look at number 8, that is definitely a counting number. It is a whole number. It is an integer. And um, it is also a rational number. All right, that fits this on this eight falls under the definition of all of these except for an irrational number. Then for um, two thirds, two thirds is not a counting number. It is not a whole number. It's not an integer. However, it is a rational number. It is not irrational, though, however, because I can write it as a fraction. Um, negative 1.876. Now, again, we talked about irrational numbers were decimals that we could say that went on and on forever. Well, since this stops, what we call its terminal, we can write this as a fraction. I don't know what the fraction is, but there is a fraction that we can write to represent that. So it is going to be a, another rational number. Now, it's not going to be a counting number, a whole number, an integer. It's just going to be a rational number. The square root of 19. Now, see, the square root of 19, um, when I chuck that in, that is not going to be a terminal decimal. That is going to be going on and on forever. And since it's not a perfect square, it's going to provide us with decimal. Therefore, that is an irrational number. All right. And lastly, we have the number negative 3. So negative 3 is not a counting number. It's not a whole number. But it is an integer and a rational number. And there's just a quick little video on how to classify real numbers.